the example of wrecks from the what we call like the, the glory days of wrecking the 1850s, the most lucrative of them was a vessel called the Isaac Allerton. The Isaac Allerton sank in a hurricane in August of 1856, uh, salvaged over a several month period and brought in uh, uh, estimated goods at $400,000. Uh, and today's money is millions of millions of dollars shared with a very small number of actual citizens that lived on the island at that period. And how that compares to today, we still have ships that wreck, albeit not in the same level of, of reef as they did back then, because as they go to point out, many of the ships that wrecked in the 1850s, they were um, heavy, overlaid vessels that were wind-driven and kind of got stuck at the front entrance of a reef, where today, you know, they have larger power boats and they have more power and are not as deep drafted. And so they actually end up further on the reef, thus quite possibly even causing more damage and then requiring even more effort to remove those vessels. Some of our, our modern day treasure hunters, uh, we have deal with the likes of gentlemen by the name of Whitey Keevan, uh, Carl Fismer, uh, of course the world's most famous treasure diver, uh, Mel Fisher, when he discovered uh, you know, the, the mother load of the, the Atosha and the Santa Margarita. Uh, all, all of these treasure hunters, of course, chasing after Spanish galleons uh, from the, pe the period of the uh, 16 and 1700s, and which several of those fleets wrecking right along the Florida Keys reefs as well. Mel Fisher's uh, a group, of course, they, they found the Atosha, the Santa Margarita, and many other vessels as well throughout the years, but uh, the Atosha is really the one that brought worldwide notary to his outfit and brought him to the forefront of, uh, of a salvage of Spanish galleons and uh, hundreds of millions of dollars in silver coins and gold coins and emeralds and jewels and, of course, the invaluable information that they found from general goods of the day that help us teach about the lifestyles of people from three or four hundred years ago. Today, the shipwrecks are very important. We deal with uh, uh, some of the old shipwrecks from decades ago, and then also to the, the new wrecks that are being sunk by, our, by the, the local groups um, for artificial reefs, for diving, for fishing, providing a great uh, uh, venue for commercial activity as well.